All right, here with a lot of details and reaction, Missouri Attorney General and Senate-elect uh, Eric Schmidt is with us. He has been suing the Biden administration over social media censorship. Okay, did I connect the dots in a way that makes sense to you? Because I think it can get confusing. But did the FBI put their finger on the scales? They had this laptop for 11 months. They did nothing with it. Uh, and then the FBI is telling every week they're meeting with these big tech companies, and they are saying to them, oh, be on the lookout for these hack and leak operations. Uh, and it may even be about Hunter, we're told. They knew that story was likely going to come out because they had the laptop, and they knew Rudy Giuliani had it. That's right, uh, Sean. And also, I think this is a story of the federal government with all of its vast power and authority colluding with some of the biggest companies in the history of the world to censor Americans, uh, to uh, put their thumb on the scale, as you said, of what's out there, what people can actually read and know about before an election. And it ought to scare uh, the bejesus out of every American. I don't care what your political stripe is. I mean, this is out of some dystopian novel. And what we learned, we took the deposition of Elvis Chan, uh, the FBI agent, last week. Well, here's what's very clear. The FBI had the Hunter Biden laptop story in 2019. They sat on it. They didn't do anything with it. They knew it wasn't hacked material. They knew it was legit. Um, Miranda Devine of the New York Post uh, said that they had access to her emails. They also knew when this story exactly was going to be published. Elvis Chan testified that they were having meetings, monthly meetings, including weekly meetings, telling them to be on the lookout for hacked uh, and leaked materials. Um, Yoel Roth, the integrity guy at Twitter, uh, in a sworn affidavit said that in those meetings, they said there's going to be something, potentially something about Hunter Biden uh, in that story. So you connect all these dots, and this was a backdoor way to affect censorship. They were also advising them on their, uh, what their hack and leak or their hack policy ought to be. And you also have the same guy, Jim Baker, who was general counsel of the FBI in 2016, and then general counsel of Twitter in the fall of 2020, it's cl clear in those Elon Musk, uh, that the Twitter files, he was the one saying, put the brakes on this. So the FBI was very involved in it. And again, this is very concerning for our republic. We believe in free speech. We believe the First Amendment is the beating heart of the Constitution. And when you have the federal government and law enforcement acting in this way, it's shocking. All right. So this guy, Yoel Roth, is Twitter's former head of site integrity. He's the one that said he was meeting weekly with the FBI, and they were meeting with other big tech organizations. Let's fast forward to the FBI and their special agent, Elvis Chan, who you, uh, I believe, interviewed last week. And he said in a lawsuit that the Biden administration organized the meetings. And, in fact, uh, your solicitor general said Chan said the FBI warned Twitter to be on guard for hack and leak, and that... This guy, Roth, confirmed that hack and leak, oh, be on the lookout for something about Hunter Biden. If you see it, it's probably going to be fake. Isn't that what they did? Is that what the FBI upper echelon did? Yeah. Yes. And the FBI knew that that wasn't a hacked, uh, you know, hard drive. They knew that that was legit. They had that computer in their possession for a year, but were lay laid the groundwork for months that this could be something that comes up. In, in, in Roth, in, it specifically mentions in October. So again, they lay the groundwork uh, for this to be censored material. And then when the issue comes up, and they know, by the way, the date in which, according to Miranda Devine, in which this is going to be published. Uh, so the groundwork had been laid, and Twitter did what Twitter did. And so now the, the, what's, what's confounding the left is all these pieces of the puzzle now are coming together. And through our previous deposition of Anthony Fauci, through the discovery we've already gotten of the specific portal the government had with these big tech giants to censor Americans, uh, you know, uh, banning people, deplatforming people, silencing people, you know, big tech was doing the bidding of big government. They with were the help, working with hand the help of the glove. FBI. They were being instructed with almost the by the FBI. Let me ask you this: the FBI so Elon was very Musk involved. said. If you shut down dissenting voices, that is by its very definition election interference. When he was asked why the media is acting like this is a nothing burger, he had a great answer. He said, because they're all complicit in lying to the American public uh, and that they're acting as the propaganda arm of the Democratic Party. Do you agree with Elon Musk? Is all of that true? Did our FBI put and big tech 
and the media, did they all sort of collude together to put their thumb on the scale to prevent the American people from seeing a story about corruption with Joe and Hunter Biden in the weeks leading up to the 2020 election? That could have, if the people knew about it, that could have impacted the result of that election, sir? The, yeah, this story should have been out there. There was no reason for this to be bottled up, and the FBI laid the groundwork. I mean, this was Elvis Chan's sworn deposition. He said that they were having monthly and weekly meetings. They knew the, the Hunter Biden laptop wasn't hacked material, and they specifically said, according to Twitter's integrity guy, Roth, that uh, they mentioned the Hunter Biden story. I mean, that's just, that's, that's nuts. And our, our federal law enforcement has no role in this. They shouldn't have anything to do with this. Uh, government shouldn't be censoring people. Go government shouldn't be telling these platforms what they can publish and what they can't publish. And also, an interesting tidbit here, Sean, that came out of that deposition was Elvis wow. Chan in his deposition also believes that this was influenced by Democrat members of Congress and their staffers going to Silicon Valley saying that they need to affect their content uh, moderation wow. policy or else. Mr. Attorney General, Senator-elect Eric Schip, uh, Schmidt of Missouri, thank you. By the way, uh, bringing this to Washington, I think you got your work cut out for you. Thank you for being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.